Hi, I'm Alex Thorne, and today we'll be talking about breaking the mark, specifically with a quick release backhand. This is a useful skill because a quick break can lead to easy flow down the break side of the field. The goal of this throw is to release the disc on the backhand side before the mark can adjust. This can be done by releasing the disc before you land on your pivot foot or even without pivoting at all. The first step is to hold the disc in your forehand grip with a wide stance. This forces the mark to respect the forehand and moves them away from your backhand side. Next, you want to quickly bring the disc to your backhand side by shifting your weight onto your pivot foot. Last, the throw is executed by extending your arm to your backhand side as far as possible and using your torso and wrist to snap the disc around the mark. In general, you'll want this to be a flat throw out into space. All right, so now I'm going to demonstrate how to actually execute this throw. The first step, as I said earlier, we're going to be in a wide stance with the disc in your forehand grip. This is pulling your mark over this way. They have to respect this inside forehand. I'm going to shift my weight onto my left foot and bring my arm over to release around the mark. So I'll do it full speed. What I just did and what I'm going to do again is with no pivot at all. That's just a shift of weight and just a throw like that. Another way to execute this throw is a quick pivot and releasing before I, my pivot foot actually is on the ground. Both ways can be effective. It's essentially the same throw. It's just getting it off as quick as possible is the goal. Just get a little wrist snap out into space. Let your receiver run onto it. Ooh, there it is. All right, now here's a quick demonstration with a mark on, and this is simulating throwing to the top of the stack to the break space. Just floats out there and he can just run right onto it. The first step is to hold the disc in your forehand grip with a wide stance. This forces the mark to respect the forehand and moves them away from your backhand side. You want to quickly bring the disc to your backhand side by shifting your weight onto your pivot foot. The throw is executed by extending your arm to your backhand side as far as possible and using your torso and wrist to snap the disc around the mark. In general, you'll want this to be a flat throw out into space. 